Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls, and tonight we are going to be doing another Get Ready With Me video featuring, this is one of the Tarte Rainforest of the Sheet eyeshadow palettes, and I am super excited about this because I haven't really pulled this out of my collection in a while. It is super, super gorgeous. It has such pretty colors. Um, again, a lot of like rosy tones, a couple of like blues and greens, a little bit of like this cool shimmer shade here. But I'm going to be doing um, kind of like some of these mauve, um, these mauve rosy tones and some of these shimmers. It just, it's a pretty palette. It even says 99% mermaid at the top here. I don't know. It's just a cute palette that I haven't pulled out and I'm really excited to use it tonight. And then for foundation, I am actually going to try the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I've actually had this in my collection for a little while, but I have not pulled it out in a while, and I'm not sure if it's because I didn't like it. I don't really remember. So it's in the shade Y225. Sometimes if I'm a shade off, I put my foundations away and I don't ever use them again, so that could be why I haven't pulled this out. But I remember thinking that I liked this formula, so we're going to give it another shot tonight and see how we feel. We're going to go ahead and get started. Alrighty guys, we're going to start out with the Smashbox Primer Water. This is in the scent Coconut Chill. I don't think you can get it anymore, unfortunately. It was, I think, a limited edition, but the basic primer water is still an amazing um, prep spray. I just like it because it kind of cleanses my face and makes me feel kind of cool before I go in with my primer, which today we're going to be using my favorite. This is the Pore Fashional Primer. It does a great job of just filling in my pores. It is slightly scented, but I really, really like it. So I am almost ready to start another one. I tend to go through this product extremely fast. <laughs> and again, it's just kind of been a staple product of mine. I like that it's kind of tinted a little bit so that um, it kind of just starts to blend out your skin and make it really, really smooth. For me, it just prepares that um, that layer for foundation to go on top of really nicely. And it tends to work with most foundations that I've used. I tend to try a lot of different foundation just because I'm always looking for the perfect one. And I feel like lately I've been looking for a new foundation. So let's go ahead and do um, concealer for first. <laughs> this is going to be my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Again, very, very big fan of this concealer. This is in the shade Light, and I just cover my under eye with this, especially if I have like a dark spot. Um, it's really nice to cover that, cover up any like little red blemishes, kind of put this on my chin a little bit. That's normally where I get the majority of um, breakouts if I do get them. And then we are going to go ahead and take this nice little brush from BH Cosmetics. It's a 138. I like it because it's kind of like an angled brush. And just go in and pat that out. So guys, how are y'all doing? I feel like being in quarantine still, <laughs> it's just a wild experience. Um, I have been able to film a lot of videos, which is really nice. It's been giving me a lot of time to get creative again. I've been doing some nail stamping for those of you that like the nail polish. Um, for a long time I hadn't really been doing my nails because I've been so busy with work. I've been going to a salon and getting a gel French manicure, French manicure and calling it a day. Um, next up guys, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. Let's get that out of the way. This is my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Again, this is a staple on my channel. It's just a really good base for eyeshadow. Um, for a long time, I never used bases for eyeshadow, but it really makes all of the difference, and it really covers co discoloration on your eye. It makes it kind of blend in with your foundation. It gives it a nice base when you're trying to put those eyeshadows on so that they really pop and that they stay you know, longer than just a couple of hours. Um, most of my shadows will wear, you know, a full day, which is really, really nice, and I think the base really helps that with any kind of eyeshadow brand. All right, so let's start with the Makeup Forever. This is a nice little pump, so I'm just gonna pump a little bit here, and it honestly looks very similar to my shade. I feel like I remember it leaning. It's kind of got a liquidy texture. I feel like I remember it leaning slightly yellow, but 
I really don't remember. It's been a while since I've picked up this foundation. So we're going to do one side of my face first with a brush and then we are going to do the other side with a beauty blender just to kind of get a good comparison going because I do notice that some foundations really do work best with a brush and then some work better with a beauty blender. So I always like to kind of test them out, especially if I'm getting a new one or a new foundation in. I always like to test them both ways to see which looks better, you know, um, and that kind of helps you remember which, which kind of tool to use when you apply your foundation. So on initial, you know, feel, I don't think that it's like a bad shade. I do think it's slightly maybe slightly off, but I feel like it's it's something that you could definitely like blend into your neck and nobody's gonna notice, but it's not bad. Like it's definitely not bad. So I'm gonna just kind of put a little bit more here. I feel like it needs a little bit more coverage. May want to go in with a second layer actually. I feel like it did not cover my cheek fully there. Okay. So while that sets, let's go ahead, do another pump. I'm actually doing like one and a half <laughs> and then we will do the other side with that beauty blender which I have not pulled out this beauty blender a lot like I'm really excited again I feel like this um, quarantine that we're currently in is really giving me time to just like play with makeup again like pull out palettes that I typically wouldn't use maybe they've got some color in them you know and they wouldn't be like work appropriate and so it's really been actually kind of um it's been very nice to, to kind of get back to this, although I know, like, it'll be nice to get back to, like, some normal life. Again, what, what that is going to look like, I have no idea. Now, it sheared that out extremely um, a lot, so I'm definitely going to need a little bit more because I did not finish coverage there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead with another layer. But it looks, again really natural with the beauty blender it but again it sheared it out a little bit too much so I need to go back in and build it up and again that's typically what I tend to find a lot of foundations tend to look good with a beauty blender but you shear it out a little bit so that you lose your you lo you lose the coverage you get when you do with a brush so maybe I need to switch back to my beauty blender that's what I've been learning lately So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with one more layer and do the beauty blender all around just to, yeah, it, this definitely looks like a more natural padded in finish. This definitely, I don't know, like it doesn't look as smooth as the beauty blender. And again, I think the beauty blender put a little bit more moisture back into my skin with the water. And I really think that helps. I think it helps like meld it together. So I'm going to do that and then come back. Alright guys, so I have got the um, foundation all shared out with my beauty blender. Looks pretty good on camera. Again, I do think it may be a slight, slight color off, but it still I think is going to work okay. I'm going to go ahead and set that with my Laura Mercier setting powder. I really like this loose powder. It's very finely milled and I feel like it just does a great job of giving you just a very airbrushed looking finish. So I normally just put a little bit into this cap and then take a powder brush, do a little bit of tapping, swirling, and then just go ahead and kind of massage that on. And I will say this makes most of my foundations look pretty flawless. I feel like this really is a good powder. I've been using it pretty consistently. I'm curious though, like, what powders you guys are using. So if you want to leave in the comments down below, tell me what powder you've been loving. Do you use pressed powders? Do you like loose powders? I know there's a lot of good loose powders on the market. I'm curious what other people are using. I've just kind of been stuck on this one though because I just, I don't know, I think it works well. And when I find a really good product, it's hard for me to kind of like move on to something else. All right. So guys, for blush, we are going to do my favorite right now, which is the Becca Flower Child. Just pop that onto the cheeks. I think this does a great job of giving me just a nice little pink flush. I really, really like this shade. It's just a true light pink, but it does show up. 
I feel like a lot of light pinks you have to really build up and this you can build up but um, it actually has a pretty strong punch of color and again not overpowering in any way just perfect in my opinion and it goes with so many so many different looks and then continuing on with this this is going to be the champagne pop highlighter from Becca I'm just gonna touch my cheeks with that again another favorite of mine I just use this in almost every video so tell me what you guys are loving what's your favorite blush or highlighter of the moment because again I haven't been able to move from this so I'm curious what everybody's using all right guys, for bronzer, I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I just love this little guy. This is a little travel size. I need to stop using it. I need to pull out like my big size. I need to put this in my travel bag. But I think this is a really, really pretty, again, light bronze that you can also build up. It smells kind of like suntan, tropical, which I love. I got this little mini at Target and I was kind of just perusing one day and I just happened upon it. And I was like, I didn't know they were making it in mini form. Which, if you guys know, like, if you've been around my channel long enough, you know I love makeup in miniature. <laughs> I don't know why. I travel a good amount, so I like to be able to take my favorite products with me just, again, like, in a miniature form. Also, I think part of it is because I like to use a lot of makeup. I like to try a lot of makeup. So it's nice to have little things so that I don't have big ones to get through. I can get through a smaller one a lot quicker and move on to something else and try another product. Always looking for... The next best thing all right guys it is now time to get into this gorgeous palette again this is the rainforest of the sea palette and it's just a really beautiful mermaid it's hard to get open a little bit there we go um it's got a nice big mirror and just again really gorgeous shades in here you can do a lot of different looks with these there's mattes there's shimmers and there's a lot of different colors the only thing i would say that they're probably missing is kind of like a medium to light brown color but that's okay we're gonna just use what's in this palette tonight and i'm gonna take a fluffy brush the first one we're gonna go into Let's see, let's do the lightest matte in here, which is called Sandbar. It's this kind of like rosy matte right here. And it's actually a pretty nice shade, like it's not too pigmented, so it's that's a good transition shade. I'm happy with that. And again, it's a nice like rosy pink, like mauve, which again, I use mostly brown in my crease, so I've been using a lot of palettes that are you know, having this like rosy pink mauve shade as your transition or the only shade in the palette seems to be a rosy shade. So very, very pretty. And the cool thing is I want to do multiple looks with this palette. I think there's definitely opportunities to do something like a little bit different here and there. Um, they just seem like, again, really, really fun colors. Next, to deepen up that um, kind of corner, we're going to use Sure Thing, which is another kind of deeper pinky mauve. And again, I'm just going to keep building up. Again, a little bit of fallout there. It's a little dusty, but that's okay. I just tap that off and I keep on going, moving that into the corner. Just blending out. Again, I'm not really seeing much there. Let me try again. There it is. It's building up a little bit, slowly. Next up, guys, we're going to go in with Shipwreck. It's a very kind of dark purple mauve. This is going to be my outer um, corner shade. Again, I hope we can kind of deepen this up. Getting a little bit of like depth, hopefully, to the look. One of my issues, I think, with a lot of palettes is, and I really hope this is not the case with this one, is that sometimes, there it is, you can actually see it really good now. Um, sometimes I notice that when you get a good palette, you know, it may swatch really good, it may have really good pigment. But what happens is sometimes the eyeshadows, they all blend out and they all look like the same. And um, that always irritates me. Like if there's no like difference in the shadows, then that's not really helpful to your look. You know, like if everything just blobs onto one color, you're not really going to get the desired effect. So that kind of irritates me with some palettes. Um, and again, I think it's just the formula. Like if it's a bad formula, you may have that issue. Um... Again, it may look great with swatches, but when you go to actually blend it out, like all it does is blend into one color. So I know these com colors were similar. And again, I still feel like I'm able to get a nice like kind of like shade darker to light there, but they did blend a little bit together. So let's see, what do we want to take for the pop of the 
lid. I think I'm going to do the lightest shimmer. This is the one that's on the top of this palette. This is called Nude Beach right here. And again, it seems to be like the lighter shimmer of them all. So I'm going to take my hand and just like dive in it with my finger and get a little bit there and just pop on. Ooh, it is a gold. Very, very pretty. Okay. Love that. And that is actually really, really pigmented. I was going to take a wet brush, but I don't think I need to, like, to intensify it. It's actually very intense just with using your finger. So that's really good. The shimmers um, seem like they're going to be really, really nice in this palette. So I'm excited about that. Excellent. And then the only other thing this palette is missing is a pop of, like, um like white or nude on the brow bone like I always like to highlight my brow bone so you definitely don't have that in this palette which that is one thing that irritates me about palettes especially when you just you just need that little pop of color so I'm actually gonna go in with I'm gonna find a single hopefully or a, a palette that has a brow bone shade Alrighty guys, I just went through my singles and I found an Essence shadow. This is actually a really shimmery one. It's a shimmery white, but that's okay. And I think it's called the Grammy Goes Glammy. And again, it's just a pretty white shimmer shade. This is probably a little bit too much, but this is already going to be kind of like a glittery look. So why not give it a little bit shimmer on the top brow? We're just staying at home, not like we're going anywhere. So why not? We'll be a little glammy tonight. Give it a nice little shimmer. And you can actually see that. So, all right. So, so far, so good. Um, again, like, you know, this was kind of a basic look. We're going to keep going. Uh, those, those mauve shades kind of blended together. They were similar colors, but I still think it came out to be a pretty, pretty look. So, let's do eyeliner next. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner. I think this thing is super cute. It's got that little cat head on it. I mean, just adorable. I love the packaging of this. And I did look this up because I was kind of curious to see, like, you know, if there were other products in the Sex Kitten line. And there is another liner. But it's a coal liner, it's not a liquid liner. So you have to be careful when you're getting this. Make sure that you get the liquid liner. I have not tried the coal liner in the Sex Kitten formula. Alright guys, so for mascara, I'm going to go in with my Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced. I really like this one. Again, I'm kind of at the end of this uh, tube. It's a mini tube. I really need to go ahead and either get the full one or try something new. And again, if you guys have any recommendations for um, your favorite mascara, I'm even looking for some drugstore mascara right now just to see what's good. I do like this a lot, but I'm kind of ready for a change. Maybe try something different, but I would repurchase this. Um, you know, right now though, with things being crazy, like I'm trying to look for more like just cheap. Whoa. Fabulous. I totally got that right there. Now we're going to have to fix that. All right. Break time. Well, that was a disaster. So I cleaned myself up there. Do my final lashes over here. And yeah, I really like this eye look. That, um, those kind of like mauve colors actually look totally like a sunset. So it's very tropical, I feel like, um, on my eyes and it relates to that palette really well. So I'm excited about that. Next up, we're going to go into eyebrows, and I'm going to be taking my favorite. I use this all the time, guys. This is my Goof Proof Eye Pencil from Benefit. I'm in the shade number three on this one. And again, I am waiting for my Sephora VIB haul to come in um, because I really am just digging at the end of this little stick here. I don't even know if I'm going to get that much out of it, but I love it. I think it really works extremely well. It's got a great little diamond tip on it. And I am, I think it, there's a little bit left in here. Like I'm getting the very last of this barrel, but I really, really need that to come in. That order has been taking forever. And I know with the pandemic, it's not unusual for things to take long to get delivered now. So that's totally understandable, but we're going to change it up for um, my eyebrow gel. I normally go in with the give me brow, which is this one right here, but I got this Anastasia one in my, um, 
I think it was in my Ipsy or no, probably in my Sephora bag. So this is like a little tr like deluxe size. This is in the shade dark brown. So I don't even know if this is going to work for my eyebrows, but I wanted to try it. Um, this is kind of like a bigger wand than I'm used to. The Give Me Brow has a lot, um, has a very small wand. This is kind of a big one. And it's definitely tinting my brows dark, dark brown. So I don't know, this shade might be a little dark for me. But it does seem to be doing the job. Definitely slicking them back, tinting them a bit. Giving them some hold, hopefully. Honestly, that went on really nice. I don't want to put too much in there, get too much, but... I think I might have tinted that a little bit too dark. That's okay. We'll go ahead and match it on this side. All right. So definitely a little dark for me. <laughs> definitely, I think, too dark for my hair. But that's okay. Um, that was just a travel size anyway. So it seems like it did very similar to what the, the Gimme, Br Gimme Brow does. But we'll see how long that lasts. Okay. So we're getting near the end, near the end. Um, let's go in with my Wet n Wild Chick Got Real. This is, or Chic Got Real, Chic Got Real, I guess. It's a very pretty, like, pinky gloss. And when I purchased it, I thought it was a liquid matte, but it's a liquid high shine lipstick from the Catsuit line from uh, Wet n Wild. But it's a really pretty color, so I thought this would be perfect. And it definitely sticks, like, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slide off. It really has, like, a grip. And then I feel like you can kind of build the color up. This is the only high shine that I have from them. Again, I, this was an accident. I thought it was a matte. But I have to say, I've used it. I really like it. And I think like for spring, it's such like a nice, true little like Barbie pink almost, but more wearable than some of those hot pinks out there. And you know what, guys? I'm going to go in with the Mega Last um, Mascara. This is like a perfect shade or a perfect um, perfect mascara for your lower uh, lashes. And again, I think they repackaged and reformulated this or one or the other. I'm not really sure, but I saw them at Target and they definitely are not the same color. It's like a light pastel purple pink. So I need to buy that because, again, I'm like running low. But this is just a good one to pull those lower lashes down and give them length. Um, it's really hard for me to get my lower lashes without completely getting mascara all over my face as you saw earlier Throwing that mascara all over the place um, But that tends to work really well for my lower lashes Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. I am really kind of happy with how it turned out It definitely feels kind of like a beachy look. I love that that kind of like that mauve -y pink is really kind of almost has leans a little bit like orangey and sunsetty. Um, I do love the shimmers in the palette. I think overall thoughts are this is definitely like a fun palette to sup um, that like it doesn't give you everything you need to me to make like a full complete look like you get a lot of fun colors a lot of fun shimmers I think you can do a lot but you definitely need like I think a brow bone highlight it's definitely missing that and I would like more of like a a brown transition shade because you can do a lot with these colors with that and most of these lean again more pink more mauve more red toned um, even the mattes do but again beautiful shimmers can't wait to try some of these blues and greens and maybe another video but I do like this palette I think the quality of the shadows is, is pretty good and then as for as this makeup forever HD ultra HD foundation like I don't hate it but I also feel like it's settling into some of my like lines and stuff on my face I don't know if you can see like right here just feel like it's settling into like my smile lines already and I've like barely had it on like a few minutes so it's also looking a little dry and I've lately been into like I need a more like I feel like hydrating foundation so I need to try something different if you guys have any recommendations leave them in the comments below love this lipstick I just it's one that I, like I said, it was an accidental purchase and it turned out to be really, really like fun. I might buy some more of those high shine ones. I got to see what other colors they have. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.